Hello and welcome. If you're new here, we're Aramis and Emily, a UK-based couple with a love of the outdoors. We bought this Ford Transit panel van with the intention to convert it into our ultimate adventure van for our trips across the UK and abroad. And after 12 months of hard work on the weekends, we are starting to get closer and closer to the finish line. If you missed last week's episode, we finally finished upholstering our phone, which turned out to be even better than we expected, and we're so happy about it. So now that we've completed a few more jobs on the van, we decided to take the day off and enjoy some of the hard work we've put in. We found some interesting magazines in the vintage shop. I wasn't expecting Experiencing torrential rain. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Being blown up. Had some difficulties with height restrictions, but as you can see, pathetically low height barrier. I think that was a two metre limit. And finished the day with a beautiful sunset. So, let's take you to the beginning of our day. We started the day by popping down to one of the biggest indoor vintage markets in Kent to have a look around for some bits for our van. This place is massive and if you like all sorts of retro and vintage things this is heaven for you honestly if you get the chance pop in and have a look around it's so good adult only <laughs> oh, i wasn't expecting that. It's like an indoor boot fair, I guess. I think people have their own section and they sell their stuff. I don't quite know how it all works, but it's literally like paradise if you love boot fairs. It's, uh, it's a bit overwhelming because there's so much stuff. Well, so that was a quick tour of... Petticoat Emporium in Ramsgate. Yeah. We get him back to the van. So our plan was to go to the Wade Bridge and Wade our van. Well, as you can see what's happening right now, and also the first thing, Wade Bridge is now open on the weekend, so that's our first mega. And then we thought we we're gonna go and park up somewhere nice, enjoy a sunset or whatever. Sunset? It's starting to clear over there, but over there is like grey as hell. So all of our plans have been scuppered this morning so far. We took a little detour to our little emporium, but this is just not it right now. It's July. Where is the summer? Was the three days we had like last week? That's it, is it? Well, we need to park up somewhere. One of the issues we are already having and something we haven't had to consider before are height barriers. A lot of the places that we know that we parked up at in the past, we've never noticed height barriers because it's never really applied to us until now. This is the third car park that we cannot get into due to height restrictions, which is fine. Um, but having a high top van is a no-go. Now we are just trying to find somewhere we can go we just want to be able to like park up somewhere, chill for a bit and cook dinner later, basically. But thus far we are having zero luck. So on to the next option. Uh, we got sick of driving around and trying to find a park up where we can get in the car park. So we just pull over at the seafront for a quick cup of tea. We had a very big plan to film a video for the next weekend, but all the plans gone to the bin. Yeah, it's been um, uneventful, every single plan we had. Then. This is also a good telltale sign of are you on a slope or are you not? Which way does the water run? Yeah, I think we're gonna just find a park up, have dinner. We um, know of one place where all of the campers go and I'm quite keen to go down there. It's right by the seafront, a bit like this, but it's really, really popular with campers, so. Well, this is Hern Bay seafront. It's actually quite a nice seafront and there's quite a few places and things to see. Yeah, there's really nice pier and find the distance there. You can actually see the old pier, which caught fire. Yeah, it burned down, but there's all the end of the pier still in the middle of the sea, quite cool thing. And even further in the sea, there's like these World War II, I think, towers, 
there's even more, I can see even more there. Which is quite a cool place. I think we need to buy some sort of inflatable kayak and try to swim there. <laughs> that would be a cool video. After some failed park up attempts and a coffee break at the seafront, we moved on to find a place to stretch our legs. We arrived at East Bleen Woods just for our little wonder before we had to our dinner spot. Dinner spot, yeah. I thought that this car park is also uh, got the Hyde bar barrier, but we were lucky and we got in. So yeah, the last time we came here, we were walking down this very path with pumpkins about this big, <laughs> all carved out, ready to do a pumpkin head photo shoot. And the looks we got were- That was funny. Unbelievable. <laughs> Kids were like thinking like, what the hell sure are those two doing? I'm sure I heard one little girl go, Mummy, why have they got pumpkins on their head? And we were like, oh God, this is awkward. But, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, but uh, we ended up having quite nice pictures actually. Yeah, we did. Like, what? The weather is starting to look a bit better than it was. Very windy. The wind is quite cold, I think. So that, that's why we thought we come to the forest where it's, uh, it's a bit less windy. arrived thought we were gonna dodge it but we are really hungry we're getting back in the van and driving to the park up that's gonna be probably full of campus and we just luck to find a spot to park up so yeah that's the park up there's lots of space for campus and the views are nice. So that's going to be a pack up for this evening. still have a slight hope for a nice sunset. We chill for a bit, then we cook some dinner and again chill for a bit, which is a very unusual thing for us because most of the time we're walking, we're doing go, something like... and now we're actually using the van, we're just doing Don't nothing. Relax. <laughs> the sun is setting down. We think it's time for food, isn't it? Yeah. So dinner for tonight is going to be very simple. Hot dogs. Yeah, boy. Got some ketchup. Got some mustard. We got cucumber, cauliflower, and we got hot dog sausages. That's the only sausages they had in Tesco. Onion. So let's prep some ingredients that we're gonna use. I think we might have a really nice sunset actually. We're using a van right now, but we are at this state where like we don't really know what exactly we need. So we're just trying to make a list whilst we're cooking a dinner right now. So we're trying to think what we don't have and we might need on another trip. It's really nice park up. I can see why it's so popular yeah. with other van people. Plenty of space. There's a little portal as you come down the stairs, which we discovered is actually in very nice condition. Yeah. There's no overnight parking restrictions. There's always campers down here. I've yeah. never come down here and not seen one. So, and literally the beach is there. It feels like I can touch the beach. Then it's almost ready. So we're gonna enjoy our dinner and we're gonna leave you to enjoy this sunset. <sighs> 
sunset's gone, bellies are full. I think that's gonna be. Sorry, I was just watching some dogs. She's just watching dogs on Listen, the beach. We bought treats for the van for our doggy friends, but thus far we've had no doggy friends to feed them treats. Is that something people can do? Do you think people would take a treat for their dog? Why not? Because some people might get a bit funny about it. But nah. if, you, if you ever see us and you've got a fluffy friend, just know that we will always have a supply of dog treats. Yeah, so I'm not sure is this video gonna end up here now because tomorrow I'm, I'm coming back to the farm to finish a couple more bits, mainly toilet. And curtains. And curtains. They are main tasks of that day because next weekend for us we're taking her on like a four or five day trip which I'm very excited about and we've got one night at possibly the coolest Airbnb I've ever seen and we cannot wait to show you. That's very exciting. It's such a cool place and no, we can't say anything. You're yeah, just we're gonna not gonna say... give it away. We'll just wait to show you. See you, See you next on the week. Next one. Bye! So, that's going to be it for this week's Mismatch video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing and don't forget to like and leave a comment. We'll see you next time. Bye!